Forest River Wildwood. Platinum. I think it's 30 foot long. Taking this one to Pennsylvania. To Camping World and then grabbing another one from Camping World. And then we're going to take that one to Virginia. To another Camping World. So, the weather's beautiful here. It's like 60 degrees in Ohio. Yeah, I think it's not too bad of a unit. This run hasn't been that bad. I mean, it's been it's been an experience. Um, going all the way out to Montana and working my way back to Indiana. Um, these two here, I'm going to make as much money on these two as I did taking the one out to uh, Billings, Montana. So, um, you know, that's kind of disappointing compared to the fuel mileage that I got. Boy, I'll never haul one of those other ones. That was the worst fuel mileage. I didn't. Even, I couldn't even imagine. Out of my worst nightmare, I would have never thought that I was going to get 4.4 miles per gallon on that other job. Uh, it's just crazy. This one's getting 12. You can pull this thing for 12 miles per gallon with this one-ton dually. So it makes a world of difference. I just, you know, when it doesn't have a wall that's, you know, 14 feet in the air, basically. So, but. This is our accommodations. This will be the third time sleeping in this thing. You know, it's uh, it's not too bad when you actually get a hotel room like I did the other night and got a lot of sleep and good shower. So it made this next trip not bad at all. So I think I could do the sleeping in the truck a couple days in a row. I don't think I'd want to do it any more than that. And yes, it's raining in Pennsylvania again. Sure rained a lot this year. But I am on schedule to get both of these delivered today. You know, as long as, as, long as the drop off and the pickup doesn't turn into three hours, we'll be fine. And then we can actually make $1,495 on this deal. Um, the best part about it was I had my tanks full off the last job and I filled up my uh, tank in the back of the truck. And I've been able to run on that back tank for this whole delivery. Uh, it'll be close. So I might not have any fuel expenses. And as you know, I stayed in the truck again last night. So I got no hotel. So I saved another 80 or 100 bucks there. Um, if I could just learn to sleep in this truck, uh, that would be awesome. I mean, because I actually, when I wake up in the morning, well, I don't really wake up. I, I feel like I'm awake all night. So maybe I'm sleeping, but maybe my, in my mind I'm awake. I don't know. I, I'm functioning today. I, I feel tired, but I am functioning. Um, but when I get up and go in there and brush my teeth and get back in the truck and get on the road, uh, it's an exciting feeling knowing that I saved 80 to 100 bucks. Um, so if I can do that a couple times in between these trips and then get a hotel and only, you know, only do that one night, um, or find hotels like I got in Indiana. You know, they, they cater to the to the guys that are doing this delivery, and I can get a room there with a king size bed for fifty four dollars and eighty eight cents a night. That's tax and everything included. And when you pay that money, that's you know I, I can almost stay there and, and feel like it's a great deal compared to staying in the truck. I don't have to worry about finding a place. I don't have to worry about finding a place to park the truck in the trailer. And I can actually, you know, get a nice shower and a nice sleep and get up the next day and go. Um, but when you get on the road and you get out to these other places, if you find something for 80 bucks with taxes, you're, that's, you're doing good. Because usually it's way over $100. Um, and then you're, you know, until you learn those places, you don't know if you can even park the stuff there. If there's enough room. So, um, and then staying in these, uh, you know, these waysides and stuff like that. Um, they're, they're, they're hard to do that when you start getting on the East Coast because there's so many truckers 
and them guys know that if they don't get there like at four or five o'clock six o'clock that they're all backed up for miles down the road and I don't want to be parking this on the road halfway into the wayside I don't want to do that so um, it makes it a little harder now like when I go out west and I'm going through Minnesota and Wisconsin or Wisconsin Minnesota North Dakota um, Montana I don't have any problems getting places to pull in there. and I know that's a subject everybody likes in the RV world or like they don't like to take those spots from the truckers well I'm doing this I'm still a commercial driver so in my opinion I get just as much right to those as they do so you tell me what you think am I wrong about that um, because I don't know where else guys like us that are doing this where they're staying so I you know the guys that I see on the road they're doing the same thing they're staying in those places and the truck drivers that I've met the last few days in those areas have been pretty nice and pretty cool to me and everything so they didn't make me feel like I was taking their spot but I don't know so if you're a truck driver and you come across this video should we not be parking there or where should we park what's your opinion and I know I will get your opinion so let's get this thing to camping world and see if we can get it delivered and get it all done today and make some money to make up for all the fuel that we spent on the trip before this and we'll be back see we made it and I am a drone rat getting this thing unhooked but we are here here's camping world and she's all unhooked and now we just got to wait for them to inspect it and then we got to wait for them to bring us the other one out now the downfall with this is this is the slowest store that I've ever been to so far it always takes me an hour hour and a half to get out of here other places take me 15 minutes to 30 minutes so this is one of the things you're gonna to have to deal with if you're gonna do this That we made it with 30 minutes to spare. And we're in Camping World in Mana, Mana Asa, Virginia. Hope I didn't butcher that, but yeah, this is where we're at. Not like going through Washington, D.C., you know. It actually was it was a used unit, it wasn't even a new unit. So but we got it delivered and we made our money all in one day. So just remember if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Like what me and Robin are doing on the channel, subscribe to the channel. And always